we have an update on our uh, little spark gap uh, ignition coil driver here. My own schematic that I drew back in, what was it, about 2009 or so? Yeah, that is what ended up being the correct procedure from, yeah, uh, 2009. This is the same project that we looked at at the previous video. And now, when we pull the switch, we get our... We get our lovely high voltage gaps from the, this ignition coil channeled through our spark gap. Our right hand side is uh, connected to our batteries that run the, the triggered pulsed spark gap, which you, uh, you can see right there. So we have that little oscillator driving a pulsed DC current through and to our ignition coil. So we have here a relay driving an ignition coil. So this works, but that much wear on the relay is probably going to burn out the contacts after, you know, an hour or two. So that's another reason to go through a 555. Or Pretty sure I saw another video that advised to use a capacitor across the two leads just as a buffer for, uh, for the voltage. And not quite, a little closer. There it is. So that RF interference is talking to that lightsaber toy over there. But it's got to be just right in order to connect with it. The same thing happened with my very first Tesla coil that I ever built years and years ago. So it looks like there's not a very good R, um, RF uh, filter built into that lightsaber circuit that um, Kenner, whoever made it, anyways.